In the shallow waters of the tropics, brightly coloring in the brakes drive. These sea slugs are shellless and slow movers, which can make them an easy dinner for a hungry fish. However, these sea slugs aren't a meal fit for the faint of heart. Some nudibranchs deliver a nasty sting to anything that tries to eat them. But where do these nudibranchs get their sting? Rather than making stinging capsules of their own, these resourceful organisms steal intact stinging capsules from their food and then use them on their predators. While some nudibranchs move along the ground, the nudibranch Blackus atlanticus fills its body with air, which allows it to float and prey on jellyfish. A jellyfish is usually a painful lunch due to its tentacles stinging capsules. The stinging capsules act like live ammunition because they can go off with even the slightest touch. However, nudibranchs readily feed on this animal. The nudibranch's first line of defense is its inhibitory mucus, which prevents the stinging capsules from firing. The nudibranch can now graze along the jellyfish's tentacles, giving the nudibranch a nice, painless meal. The nudibranch does not completely digest the stinging capsules. Instead, the nudibranch keeps them intact and stores them for long periods of time. If the mucus doesn't prevent the stinging capsule from going off, the nudibranch also has hard discs lining its gut to release spindles to absorb the sting. These spindles act as a biological sandbag to cushion the blow. The nudibranch then moves stinging capsules from its gut to the outer region of its body. They are integrated into the extremities of the nudibranch and stored anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. The nudibranch is now lined with its ammunition. When threatened by a predator, a nudibranch squeezes its muscles around the stinging capsule, discharging the capsule and giving the predator a sharp sting. Despite their harmless appearance, nudibranchs resourcefully use their prey to keep their predators away.